Yeah. Tim, of course, you're the Shadow Treasurer as well. Uh, I mentioned before that would, if we got a daily update about unemployment, it would frighten the pants off people. Right now, Queensland's unemployment rate is worse than the rest of the country. Wide Bay, 17%. The Queensland Outback, 10%. Moreton Bay, the southern bits of it, 10%. Ipswich, 10%. Sunshine Coast, 98 Gold Coast, 9%. But, of course, you've got the Premier playing uh, border and COVID games, which means, shh, don't tell anyone about what's really happening in Queensland. Put simply... You're going to tell me you've got a plan for it, but what's an example of a plan for jobs in Queensland should you become the Treasurer? Well, Paul, we've said all along that uh, we need to invest in infrastructure. And so we need bold, brassy plans that provide jobs not just for the next year or two, but for the next decade. That's why we've announced the new Bradfield scheme to harness the floodwaters of the north. That's why we've announced the Queensland Dam Company to build dams on the eastern side of the Great Dividing Range. That's why we've announced the second M1, a uh, billion dollars or so in uh, roads to uh, break the congestion that we have in South East Queensland. We'll have plenty more leading up to the election as well, Paul. You're right. It's all about jobs and employment in the future. Do you get a sense, though, James McGrath, uh, that you know, your fellow Queenslanders are more than happy to fall for uh, the Premier turning around and saying, we're going to limit the number of people who can come over to celebrate Dad's 50th or Nana and Papa's uh, you know, 70th or 80th, uh, while there's just 17 cases in the entire state and no one in ICU? I think my fellow Queenslanders will see through Palaszczuk because all Palaszczuk does have is, is this... Uh, alibi of the coronavirus to cover up for five years of buggering up the economy. So I think when people start to vote, not in 69 days' time, but actually two weeks before that, when pre-poll voting starts, that they'll see through what the Premier is talking about and they'll judge her on her record, not just over the last five years, but we've got to remember, Labor have been in power in Queensland for 25 of the last 30 years and They'll look at the LNP, they'll look at what Tim Mandis has talked about and said, we're going to build a new Bradfield, we're going to have a dam company, we're going to get stuff done, we're going to stop talking about it, we're going to build it, we're going to do it.